My name is Lauren Wallace. I have been working in the college admission space for about eight years now. Um, I started by working as a uh, writing center consultant at the George Washington University where I attended undergrad and I worked with PhD students, master's students, medical students, students kind of across the board with various disciplines. And it really got me interested in wanting to help facilitate the admissions process and wanting to help students just achieve their dreams, whether it was applying to graduate school or undergrad or beyond. So I actually, once I graduated, I started a part-time job with a company based in Philadelphia, working on students who are applying exclusively for undergraduate admissions. And then I was approached by Inspire Advantage to work for them. And now I've worked for Inspire Advantage for about a year now, and I've really just absolutely loved the experience. I help students primarily who are applying to nursing school since that's my discipline. I attended Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia and received my accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing this past year. So my field of expertise is nursing and I love getting to watch students blossom and learn about how to craft the perfect essay and also be there for them through that journey of just making sure that they feel comfortable and seen and that their stories are being uh, adequately translated um, to admissions committees. So it's just something that I really love. It's a passion of mine and a hobby. Um, and it, it brings me a lot of joy when my students get accepted to the top schools of their choosing. So I've had students get into Columbia, uh, Johns Hopkins, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, just kind of a number of elite universities, University of Pennsylvania. And to me, that's one of the most gratifying things is just being able to help my students achieve their academic goals and dreams um, and attain admission into the universities that will help to enable them to reach their own highest potentials as future medical professionals. My educational journey to becoming a nurse is a little bit non-traditional. I worked in marketing and communications for an insurance brokerage firm for three and a half years. And then I decided that I really wasn't fulfilled or gratified by what I was doing. And I wanted to be in a career field where I felt like I was making an impact in people's day-to-day -day lives. So I started to kind of experience a little bit of career disconnect and I did some research into various careers that would satisfy my desire to serve other people and also facilitate my interest in medicine. I had always found medicine to be fascinating, uh, but I had kind of written it off because I didn't think that I was academically suited for it. But I'm here to tell anybody that no matter what your experience is or your background is, if you want to make a career shift into medicine in whatever capacity best interests and suits you, it is absolutely within the realm of possibility. And I just highly suggest doing as much as you can to kind of get an idea for what uh, what, what is it you're interested in, um, looking into different programs, um, interviewing people, talking with people who do work in those career fields so that you can get a better sense for uh, you know whether or not it is for you and just doing your research I would say is kind of the biggest way to make it happen and so yeah my my route into nursing was a little bit a um, little bit different than I think a lot of people's because I feel like many people know right off the bat what they want to do when they enter into the medical field but I'm really grateful that I had the experience that I did in communications and I feel like it did really help me develop my uh, empathy and my people skills uh just having been in that career path previously so yeah so that's a little bit about how i uh, went into nursing i began working in admissions after working as a writing center consultant at the george washington university i uh, took a pedagogy and praxis course at gw that helped to inform academic writing and styles, making sure that we were uh, APA and MLA compliant. Uh, so it was a full semester long course of training and education. And then I became a writing center consultant at GW and I received the highest feedback uh, scores from customers in a survey over the course of the entire spring semester of 2017. So my coaching style, I would say is very collaborative and kind of silly, honestly. I really enjoy uh, getting to help students wherever they are and meet them where they're at. And I feel like if you take yourself too seriously, it can make things challenging. My motto has always been not to take yourself too seriously, but to take what you're doing and what you're accomplishing seriously. So when I work with my students, I really emphasize getting to know them, um, making it a relaxing and 
calm process, I feel like working on an academic essay or an admissions essay can feel really daunting and it can give you this heightened sense of stress and urgency, especially as deadlines loom. And, you know, there's this perception that everything needs to work out absolutely perfectly. And I feel like students can sometimes really scrutinize their essays and be their own worst enemies and really be hard on themselves. And I always advocate for my students to just write from the heart, um, express yourself in a way that is both compelling, but also unique and shows the best aspects of yourself and who you are as a person, but also to, to take it in kind of a more lighthearted way so that as you're working on your essay, it becomes a little bit less scary and it becomes a bit more of a fun um, and collaborative and interactive process. So I really like to approach it from the, the angle that we are working together on a team. We both want the same things. We're here to make sure that you reach whatever goals or achievements or admissions statuses that are the best for you um, at whatever institution is most interesting to you as the student. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. I would say the number one thing I find most rewarding is that light bulb moment or that aha moment where a student sort of connects everything that they want in their essay and we read it for the final time and I get goosebumps and they get goosebumps and we see how it's developed over time and we look back and reflect on our earlier drafts to where we are today and we see how everything came together the way that it was meant to and um, you know once once you hear from the student how much they love their essay how excited they are about it um, and how grateful they are to us for helping them with that process. Um, that to me is so rewarding because even in the moments where you're trying to draw a story out of a student who might be a little bit shy and doesn't really feel as if they have a lot to offer as far as uh, background that could be interesting in an essay. And then you take from the beginning when you first met them and they were shy and afraid or, or didn't necessarily know what they wanted or even in situations where they are dead set on the topic of their essay and they know exactly from the start, hey, this is what I'm writing about. This is something that happened in my life. It was really formative. It made me who I am today. This is what I want to talk about. I feel like in either scenario, it still evolves so much from where it began. So even when people come in kind of having a shell or a framework of what they think their essay is going to turn out as versus the final product, it is really cool to just see at the very end how it all came together and what the result was and just to be there with that student as they read through it for the final time before submission day and just to see their, them light up and be so excited about being able to submit what they worked so hard on. So that for me, I think is the coolest part, just getting to be a part of the student's story. I would say the biggest tip that I have is to do your research into what programs best interest you and to kind of think about your long term goals. Do you want to be working uh, with families? Do you want to work with children? Do you want to work in acute care settings? Do you want to work in a clinic and just kind of get a picture broadly of what you see yourself doing and then aligning your extracurricular activities in a way that best meets what your long-term goals are. So if you want to be a pediatric nurse practitioner, try to volunteer at a children's hospital. If you want to work in an acute care setting and you want to take care of really sick people, try to become you know, a volunteer EMT or work in your community in some capacity that would make a lot of sense if you're going to be taking care of people at the bedside. So yeah, I would just say to make sure that you have somewhat of a vision of what you think that your long-term goals will be. Obviously that can fluctuate as you go through your career and you learn more about the profession while you're in it. But I think just kind of having a general sense of what you want out of the profession, what you see yourself doing, that will really help you in driving the decisions and the direction that you take from that point forward in order to make those goals happen.